Scary Squirrel is based on a character by Melanie Watt. This is gonna be the best second annual Safety Saturday Picnic and Games ever! Have you heard about the second annual Safety Saturday Picnic and Games? It's happening this weekend! On Saturday! Safety Saturday Picnic and Games! Guaranteed fun! Here's some pictures from last year. This is Dave and I winning the three-legged cautious walk. This is us playing stick the tail on a donkey who was born with no tail. And this is lunch. The safety never stops. Well, I should find Dave. We gotta practice our eyewash station drill. See you Saturday. <laughs> Dave? Dave, where are you? Hey, Fillmore, have you seen Dave? Oh, I was looking for who? Dave? Yeah, um, blue skunk, about yay tall, yay wide. Kinda looks like this. Yup, yup, oh, yup, 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 yup. Dave! Dave, what are you doing in there? Scaredy, what's going on? I don't know. It's a mystery wrapped in ice cream inside a freezer. Well, someone must know what happened, Mildred. How would I know? <laughs> Just cling this sticky, away, gooey, frozen mess up! All right, Dave. I better get you thought out in time for the Safety Saturday Picnic and Games. Saturday! Good thing I've got my Frozen Dave thawing kit. Let's see. Hypoallergenic comforter, cordless room temperature blow dryer, and the Tropical Beach Vacation Simulation Package. Let's do this. Oh, uh, ooka laka lay ooka look a Whoa! I almost forgot sunscreen. Can't be too careful these days. Dave? Hey! Hey, Dave, wake up! Why isn't he waking up? Oh, Dave's a really heavy sleeper. One time he even slept through the Balsa City Crash Symbol Appreciation Day Parade. <laughs> okay, start it! Yes! Hope he doesn't sleep through your big, boring Picnic Tuesday parade of boringness. That can't happen. Is it gonna happen? No. Why would it happen? Not gonna happen. So what now? If there's one thing I know about me, it's that I never give up. Or go to bed without flossing. Or eat with uninspected cutlery. Or use public washrooms. <laughs> the point is, I will wake up day. <laughs> Either, huh? He's asleep. Okay, let's run through your daily routine. That'll make you wake up for sure. Open wide. Who's a hunky little guy? We'd better get moving. You have lots to do today. Ah! Distress, distress. Oh. Save yourself. Ah! Now, lunch time. Food fight. <laughs> Okay, that's it. We're going to the doctor. I see, I see, I see. I'm afraid I have some bad news. This cat is a skunk. I already knew that. Then why did you bring him in to see me? Because he won't wake up. Ah, very interesting. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Hmm. Your friend is hibernating. It's a very deep sleep, and it's perfectly natural. It's something animals used to do before they could talk and star in hit animated television shows. How long is he gonna hibernate for? Hard to know. He could be asleep for days, weeks, even months. 
But he can't stay asleep. The second annual Safety Saturday Picnic and Games is this afternoon. It's Saturday. I have to wake him up. Well, that's not going to happen. Not unless you have some sort of machine that allows you to enter someone else's dreams. So you're looking for a machine that allows you to enter someone else's dreams? Huh, absurd! But yes, we have those. Do you have a color preference? You must remember, if you stay in his dream too long, you could get trapped forever. Just testing out my new eerie voice simulator. It, uh, works. Take this! You must leave his dream before the sand runs out. How do I do that? You need to repeat a word three times. Something easy to remember, like gobbly wobbly gobbly goop, or maybe chip chop sing bam a ding. How about I just say home? <laughs> if you think you can remember it. Very well. Are you sure this is safe? Can anything really be safe? Yes. Well, this isn't. Close your eyes and concentrate. <laughs> Scary. Dave, I'm glad to see you. We need... Where's the rest of you? What do you notice? Um, I, uh... There is no spoon. <laughs> okay. Where are we? Upside Where? down on a cloud. <laughs> hey, Scary, you okay? Let's go for a ride. It's Saturday, and you need to wake up! <laughs> <laughs> Dave, you're asleep, and it's time to wake up. Come on. Yeah! Oh, we have to talk, Dave. Well, try this. It's called a paquidge. It's pie shaped like a cake that tastes like a sandwich. Dave, you need to... That does taste like a sandwich. Anything's possible here. Anything? to wake up for the Safety Saturday Picnic and Game! Housekeeping! What time is it, Scary? Ah! Oh, oh, oh. Just testing out my new evil face mirror. It works! I couldn't get Dave to wake up! Wake him up? Why didn't you say so? If you want your friend to wake up in real life, you have to get him to fall asleep in his dreams. It's the dream sleepy wakey wakey conundrum. Make Dave fall asleep, huh? All righty, back to dreamland. <laughs> Dave, I've got a bunch of great stuff for us to do. All right! Huh? So one might say that the acorn is one non-valved nut that didn't fall far from the genera Quercus Pacacius tree. <laughs> How's my sleepy little buddy doing? Oh, again, again! What? Are you? Forget it, forget it! We're running out of time! <laughs> Let's see you try to stay awake now. Okay. One, two, three, four. Five. 2,145, 2,146. You're right. This is fun, Scary. How much longer we got to do this? I got no idea, but my hopes are killing me. Oh, my turn. 2,159. Dave, listen to me. You have to wake up. I mean, fall awake. I mean, fall asleep to wake up. Whatever. It's not just about the second annual Safety Saturday Picnic and Games anymore. Okay, mostly it is, but it's also about something bigger than that. This is about our friendship. You see, Dave, friendship is what makes the grass greener, the sky bluer, the water waterier. A world without friendship is like an acorn without the corn, a mop without a bucket, a paddle ball without the string. It's so true. Oh, me again. Man. Just wake up. I mean, fall asleep to... You know what I mean, Dave. Please. Who's gonna pick me up when I feel down? Who's gonna spill crumbs on my floor when I'm testing out a new vacuum? And who's gonna pass me the lukewarm potato at the safety Saturday picnic and games? Not this guy. Because if it's not my bestest friend in the whole world, then... That did it? 
My powerful moving speech made you fall asleep. That's kind of hurtful, actually. Mm -hmm. <gasps> oh, oh, oh! <laughs> Dave! You're awake! Spoon. I was so worried. You were hibernating. I was what benating? Hibernating. It's a dormant state. Hmm. <laughs> I still don't understand. It's not important. <sighs> Trying to wake you up was exhausting. Come on, we still have time to get to the Safety Saturday Picnic and Games. We're going to win this thing. The thing we're doing now. <sighs> yes. Ready, set, cautious walk. <laughs> Scary? It's okay. Nothing to worry about. He's just hypergazing. Hamper painting. You know, it's a doormat face. Sweet dreams, buddy. Dave, I've accurately recreated Tamale Island, the home of Chico's charred chili. <laughs> it's also a cautionary tale. Everyone, stop room now! <laughs> An announcement will now be made by Nestor Wingnut. I'd like to thank the little people. Without you, I'd have no one to step on in my rise to greatness. Nestor! Why are you wearing my pashmina? And my sunglasses? <laughs> I'm just about to make the big announcement. There's gonna be a movie shooting at the store, starring some guy named Sebastian Squirrel. Hooray! Oh, I loved him in Acorn 3, Nutty Vengeance. And don't forget, a squirrel to remember. What are you guys talking about? Sebastian Squirrel's early safety films were the best. Remember, electricity is shocking? And car, car, look out, car! What about ice cream? You scream, we all scream for sunscreen. Remember, kids, play it safe! All right! <laughs> I can't wait to meet him! Not a chance! Everybody has to stay out of his way! Yeah, it's for industry insiders only. That includes you, bird lips! Uh, aren't those your glasses? <laughs> You're gonna regret this! <laughs> Here he comes! Look how shiny I'm making the floors for you, Mr. Squirrel. Dear Sebastian Squirrel, ever since I was a young squirrel, I have been inspired by your messages of safety and <laughs> Yes. I guess I'll never get to meet him. Oh, it's okay, Scare. Bring it in. Why is your vest filled with mustard packets? Did you know they're free? <sighs> I'm gonna go wash up. <laughs> I clean, you clean. We, we all clean, clean to the bottom. <laughs> Oh, don't remind me. Sam Meister, where are you? I still want to give you that massage. Moist towelette? I get all the free ones I want. <laughs> Famous. Wow, your life sounds amazing. It's tougher than you'd think. Sometimes I wish I could just be a normal squirrel. Nah, uh, if I can be you for just one day, woohoo! Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Paste ready? Brushes on your marks and go! Actually, I wasn't thinking of a toothbrush race at all. What if we traded places for a day? But how would we pull it off? I look nothing like you. Ow! Wow, that's incredible. All right, we'll meet here at the end of the day to switch back. Thanks for this. You're a lifesaver. <laughs> <laughs> no, I lifesaver you. Uh, that is to say that I really like your movie. Scary, why are you bothering the beautiful people? Sorry, you had to look upon someone so hideous. What? How did this get here? It's my original screenplay I wrote. It's about a handsome bird named Fester, whose mother, Mama Linda, never believes in him. 
But when Fester wins an ultimate fighting triathlon on the moon, she finally becomes proud of him. Nesta, <laughs> beat it! Anything I can get for you, Mr. Squirrel? Water, gold-plated jelly beans, acorn platter. Oh, wow! Well, acorns sound... Thanks! <laughs> I'll just get some napkins and... Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Thanks! Thanks! Thank you! Thank you. Sebastian! Time to start shooting! Oh, right. I'm an actor. Hey, uh, how would you describe the movie we're making? A flossing comedy? Helmet thriller? Ooh, safety goggle musical. Is this a test? Am I gonna get fired again? No, I just, uh, um, I forgot. It's Cough, the movie. <laughs> <laughs> no! I, I... No! Sebastian would never do this! I know! Such a bold career move. Yeah, but... Places! Is... No, but I'm trying to... And... Action! <laughs> this place is so real! Safe, open. Safe, open. Oh, pen. Open! Hey, Scanny, you trying to get into your locker? So primitive. Good man, get me some sparkling acorn water. Whoa, look, I'm not your servant. We both work here. You mean you're, you're a homely little beaver and we're equals? How delightful! Hey, I'm keeping this, you know, to uh, teach you a lesson and stuff. <laughs> Incredible! Genius! Such a realistic portrayal of fear. That's a wrap for the day, everyone! Now, Sebastian. Ah! Must sanitize! Must sanitize! <laughs> At least the day's over and I can finally get my regular life back. Waiting, waiting, waiting. I am patiently waiting. Waiting, waiting, waiting. that was. Okay, my friends. I'm Scaredy Squirrel, and I still will be tomorrow. Good night! But there has to be some mistake! We were supposed to switch back! <laughs> Excuse me, I've got to catch the bus and head home. There's something I need to do. <laughs> Hilarious! Sebastian Squirrel taking the bus! Your bodyguards will take you home. Body what? Oh. Guys, I just need to go home and sort this mess out. We can't let you leave. Security. Yeah, but there's been this horrible mistake. Security. <laughs> nope, security. Nope, security. Okay, that one didn't even make sense. And then last night, I slept in a tiny room without being tucked in by a single robot butler. Not one. Hey, buddy. Hey. Hey. Is there something different about you today? Nope. Just normal, regular, frighty squirrel here. Uh, uh, spooky. No. I'm gonna try scary squirrel? Sounds about right. <laughs> Sebastian, what are you doing? We've got to switch back. We're never switching back. What? Come on, you've had your taste of the normal life. It was never about that. Do you really think I'm going to do cough the movie? My reputation will be ruined. No, you can't do this. Come, best friend. Let us do what non-celebrity folk do. Dave, help! Nope, sorry. We're not supposed to talk to the famous people. <gasps> oh, no, I just did. Ah, I did it again! Mouth, why have you betrayed me? I've given you everything. But, but... Sebastian has important things to do. <laughs> so let me get this straight. My entire job is to stack cans on top of other cans, and it's not ironic. Call for the skunk who doesn't work here, but always Ooh. hangs around for some reason. Hello, 
This is Dave talking on the star phone. Dave, I don't have much time before they force me back to set. You've got to help me. Skeddy? Yes, it's me. Except the me that you think is me isn't me. I'm the me me. He's the me I used to be before me became he. Oh, I get it. You do? Nope. But thanks for calling me on the star phone. Dave, no! Oh, I'll never get my life back. He's even got Dave fooled. <gasps> Dave, that's it! <laughs> Nameless assistant, take a memo. Please? Ooh, fire truck mail! Dave, this is scary. I'd really like to try all those dangerous games you've wanted to play for years. <gasps> even Muddy Muddy skydiving with a paper towel? <gasps> Yes, even that one. In fact, the more I protest, the more fun I'm having. Woohoo! All right! Ah, there you are, Sebastian. The germ wrangler is waiting on set for you. <laughs> no way. I'm not doing that. You're protesting. I knew you'd love it. What? Oh. This is a game? I don't know. I just always wanted to try it. <laughs> That's a wrap. You did this to me? You... Uh, 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 uh. No fraternizing with the... <laughs> Come on, we've got to switch back. No way. I don't care what you do to me. I'm never going to let that movie ruin my life. That's it. We're totally done. And look, they're already saying you're going to win a bazillion awards. A bazillion? With a bazil? Hey, I bet that'll give Sebastian Squirrel an amazing reputation. That squirrel is a fraud! I am? I am! Ridiculous. You look nothing alike. Wow, that's incredible! I guess this means we'll have to reshoot all those coughing scenes. Uh, no, we're good. We're good. No one cares about the animated short. Get on to the real awards. And the winner for best performance by a small rodent, Sebastian Squirrel for Kong, the movie. I'd like to thank a certain special squirrel without whom I wouldn't be here today. And that squirrel was me, obviously. You can have it, Sebastian. It's all yours. Hey, want to go for another round of Lick That Stuff? Nope, never, never, ever, ever.